So now let's see how we can use the record frame take option inside of the Adobe character animator. So over here you can see that I got my character and what I want to do is I want to record a few takes. Let's say for example, I want the character to be in this position right here, just like this. So I want the character to be in this position. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go into timeline menu right here and here you can see that I can record frame takes. So I'm just going to go around into record frame take option right here. So what happens is that a frame take is made right here. So this is the position that has been recorded. And let's say I want to have another position as well. So I'm just going to go around onto this take right here. So I'm just going to go around over here and then I'm going to go around into timeline and I'm going to record take two right here. So there's take one right here, as you can see, and take two right here. So this, this is one is a bit longer. Then I'm going to go for the third take right here. I'm going to go to timeline and then I'm going to go for record take again. So now what happens is that you can see that different positions has been recorded and I can go around and resize this out. So you can just go around right here and then I can resize this out right here so that the position stays for a long time. I'm just going to go around right here, change uh, it around over here again, just like this. And I'm going to go around and then uh, change this as well. So now you can see that this is what I have. So you can see that they are very, very stiff as of now. But what I can do is I can select this around and I can pull this in to blend this in, blend the takes in just like this. So I'm just going to go around and blend in the takes right here. And then I'm going to blend these takes in as well. Now, uh, the motion should be smoother. So if I were to go over here, you can see that that is how it looks right here. The motion is much more smoother. So you can go around over here and change the area as well. So you can see that you can go around, change this out right here. And this is how it looks. So you can overlap them out as well. And you can see that it changes out the position. So what you can do is you can record frames one by one right there and arrange it out together to give the character the motion you want as well, which is another way to animate in Adobe Character Animator. So if you guys learn something as always, and as always, please like, comment, share, and subscribe.